well let's just start the video here itself from extreme traffic morning itself i'm seeing a z900 oh man what more you need same shoes so this is my attempt uh, to make sure that whoever the young boys are from college or whoever it is they do not make the same mistake as what I have seen people making you know How to choose your bike is is a very complicated thing because I search for my bike for a year. Which one to buy, which one not to buy, what are the disadvantages, what are the disadvantages, what are the advantages in every bike. Because there are so many bikes nowadays releasing every month, you, you kind of forget uh, which are the motorcycles to consider, which are the motorcycles you should not. Because from a single manufacturer, there are four to five bikes in a single segment. Take example of Bajaj. You, you get four bikes, I think four, four or three bikes. Yeah, three or four bikes between uh, in 250cc segment. That is the Domino 250, N250, F250, that it's become so hard to choose a bike because nowadays everyone says the bikes are good at least that's what the youtubers say because they get the bike for one day and it will be in brand new condition everything will be good working fine so how to choose so before buying a bike there is one mental decision that you have to go through in your mind so i'm going to be telling those uh, decisions on how to choose and or how to decide your bike the number one thing do not decide your bike by looking at others what people have bought what your friends have bought what your neighbor has bought do not go by their name honestly if you choose your bike according to what other people have bought you are going to regret it Whenever, if the bike is good, it is it will be good. But somehow deep inside, you will feel like, yeah, I'm just imitating him. I mean, this won't be so much of a you know uh, thing for people who don't care about anything. But people who value their money, they are they are gonna feel very sad. There is a thing what you get in your mind, in your heart, the first thing. So whenever someone appreciates your bike, right? You'll just remember him. It, it will not remind of yourself, your decision. Yeah, I am a decision taker. You will not feel like that. So that's the number one thing. First, you should not imitate others. And decide the bike, what you want, based on others. That's the first thing. Second thing. Don't buy the bike which pe other people suggest you to bike. Okay? Understood? There is a difference. So, some people say NS200 is a very good bike. You know, even I considered it before buying my CBR 250R. Though I was not looking uh, for that bike, but people used to say that's a very good bike. I mean, that, that may be a good bike, but it is not good bike for me. Considering the longevity, I don't like to sell my motorcycles. So people who are willing to sell their motorcycles in their lifetime, they can go and buy. They, they will have a nice time, they can enjoy. But I am someone who don't want to sell their bikes and they want to keep riding the bikes until it dies. You know? 
Either I should die or the motorcycle should die. That's that is the main thing for me. I don't like to sell my motorcycles once I buy it. So if you are that kind of a mentality, do not buy the NS200. That is that is according to me, because there are so many problems in that bike. After some time, you are gonna face. There are so many fuel pump issues, and KTM's. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it is a KTM. I mean, Bajaj is very well known, world famous issue. There is the sprocket issue. Every time when you ride that bike, you will get that khad 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 sound. You won't feel like you have spent two lakhs, man. Honestly, after spending two lakhs, if you are not getting a nice sprocket and chain, which which is one of the most important thing in the bike, which transmits the power from primary shaft to, sorry, from primary sprocket to secondary sprocket, I am saying you do not buy that bike. It is not, but not only NS200. It is the problem with all the Bajaj. So that's the second thing. Where have I gone? So second thing is, do not buy the bike, which other people suggest you. Third thing, do not go by the numbers. So when you're buying, so when I when I was buying the CBR250R, there was one more bike in the market. There there was no Suzuki Suzuki Jixxer 250, V Storm 250. There was no even Domino 250 was not there when I was trying to buy my CBR 250R. So what? So what you must consider is when you decide a segment that I'm going to be buying a two. Let's say for example, take my example only. I'm going to be buying a 250 cc motorcycle. So do not go by the numbers. So at that time there was Duke 250 as well. Which has 30 hours, which had 30 horsepower, and uh, this bike had 26 and a half horsepower. So, still I went for CBR 250R. You know, because power is not everything. That three and a half bhp, I mean, it is fine. It is nice to brag. Like I have three and a half hours for more than him when you are among friends. But that's the that's the third thing. The third point. What did I say? Uh, do not go by the numbers. Do not go by the fancy features. I did not feel like having a Bluetooth. I did not feel having a lack of Bluetooth. I did not feel having a lack of charging port. I did not feel having a lack of trip indicator mileage indicator no there's nothing in this bike in terms of features they they all the features which are there in this bike are already mechanical are all mechanical and uh, nothing in terms of software whatever you see in the dash right that is all you get time fuel meter temperature meter the odometer they you get a trip meter only single trip meter you get the speed You can change into miles per hour or kilometers per hour. I don't know why they gave it. That is all you get, man. <laughs> and it is a backlit. That's all. And an analog tachometer. That is all you get in this bike. And that is all you need. Honestly, that is all you need. Do not go by these LCD displays. Oh no, I want LCD. It is so distracting at night. And that bright LCD display. वो आँख में चुपता है ना आई एम सो इट्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट मैन आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वाई पीपल आई मीन मैनुफैक्चर नॉट गिविंग कैन ऑफ डिस्प्लेस नॉट इज वेल रॉयल एनफील्ड आर डूइंग इट टू कट द प्राइस द फोर्थ पॉइंट वॉट यू हैव टू कंसिडर वेल बइंग बाइक दिस दिस इज वॉट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर हैविंग ट्रबल विथ यू हैव टू गुड बाइक्स Which one to decide? Both are good. Okay. In the segment, I think when I was trying to buy my CBR 250, there was SF 250, the faded version, the Suzuki Jixxer uh, SF 250, not the naked version. So these both are good bikes. So why did I go for CBR 250R? Just because of the mechanical parts, extra features, what it has in terms of engine. I'm not talking about the engine this time. I'm talking about the brakes. People always overlook the brakes. 
so when you are first deciding this is oh, these are the bikes that i have in my mind so do not go by the horsepower and do not go by the engine specification do not go by the looks first concentrate on brakes if you don't have good brakes no matter how no matter how fast you are going if you can't stop in time you are going to you know be in a lot of trouble because nowadays all the bikes are fast man <laughs> every bike even activa goes till 60 70 speed that is all the power you need in city and if you are going 200 cc and above you need to have good brakes you need to have reliable brakes budget yeah oh this is the main thing man <laughs> let's say you decided let's say you decided you want to buy an activa just for an example i'm telling okay or uh, it's fine uh, let's say you want to buy expuls this is the best example because i believe that's the best bike you can buy uh, right now under 2 lakhs that is the do not buy a bike until you have half of the amount of what the bike cost if you're going for an emi option i don't prefer you to go for an emi option but even if you're going do not buy a bike until you have half of the cash that's the value of the bike so let's say you are buying expuls 200 do not buy that bike until you have 1 lakh so the order price of expuls 200 in bangalore is uh, 1.8 i think yeah 1.8 and the rally edition is 2 lakhs exactly so i'm going to be taking an example of expuls so it is of 2 lakhs consider it as 2 lakhs do not buy the bike until you have 1 lakh in your account or 1 lakh with you okay there's a one there's one more thing what you have to keep in mind because when you go for an emi option you are paying extra for the same bike okay so first you will feel like yeah but the bike is 2 lakhs but the end of the emi terms or end of the emi period you would, you would have paid 15 to 20000 extra and you all your <coughs> value for money proposition is gone okay so these are i think four five points what you must have in my have in your mind before buying a bike and how to decide a bike that's the most important thing remember one thing buy a bike which feels good for you okay the things what i have said might work for someone somebody and and does not work for somebody so i am just giving these examples or explaining you things just because i feel like sharing it with you on how i tackled on my first bike yeah this is my first bike and i learned uh, how to ride a bike in this bike only yeah i think that's it man this uh, there there can be some other points which i am missing uh, i'm extremely sorry if something i'm if uh, i'm missing something important and uh, i hope this helps with you guys whoever is trying to buy their first bike or whoever is willing to buy their first bike and not able to decide what their first bike should be like i said buy a bike which makes you happy do not buy a bike which impresses others buy a bike which impresses you 